English translation, 56th, contact. Saturday, 19th of June, 1976, 11.30. HR's thought transmission contact. First of all, I would like to get something straight that gives me no rest. I am sure you remember the last time we talked about Pill and Paul Pope Paul VI. It is not clear to me now with your statement how his deposition and murder could actually happen. I do not understand the connections. Can you tell me more about it? Sure, but for the time being, silence is also the rule here. Of course. So you understand who I am talking about? Certainly. The unfortunate matter happened like this. Through the Vatican Council, a cardinal named Pietro Pavese was appointed the new supreme pontiff of the Catholic Church, who, however, was not willing and unaccommodating to the plans of a certain few bishops and cardinals. By this decision he, Cardinal Pietro Pavese, was given the name Pope Paul VI, but by intriguing machinations of said few bishops and cardinals, his appointment as Supreme Pontiff was revoked, still in the same hour in a secret circle, and in his place a cardinal with the name Giovanni Battista Montini, who looked deceptively similar to him in appearance, was then officially proclaimed Pope Paul VI, because he was submissive to the will and desires of the few, but very powerful and radical conservative bishops and cardinals. But the real Pope Paul II Pietro Pavese, who was fundamentally innovative and revolutionary in his convictions and wanted to modernize the Catholic Church in accordance with the times and bring it into line with the current state of modern knowledge, was deprived of his freedom because of the danger that he would make the Council's intrigue known and was imprisoned in the Vatican for two years, up until the last degrees of his familial ties, etc. of Pietro Pavese's were known through further ecclesiastical intrigues. Of course, everything was researched in secret, as is characteristic of the Catholic Church. After the most exact knowledge of all kinship factors, all the relatives of the imprisoned were murdered abruptly by hired assassins, in fact, by different methods. Then, when the certainty reigned that no relatives, etc., were among the living, Pope Paul VI was also murdered by poison. And to be absolutely sure that this enormous intrigue and series of murders would never become known, the ecclesiastical power of the Catholic office erased all records in the birth registers, etc., so that today nothing points to the former existence of the real Pope Paul VI and his relatives, etc. Is that it? It should be enough. Does it not affect you? Why should it? I am used to a lot of things. Sure, but I did not call you today for a long conversation because I just wanted to quickly inform you that Ketzel cannot give you his details until next week. So you do not need to be specifically ready for him. It is nice of you to tell me, because otherwise I would have had to stay here tomorrow. I have been invited to a flight with one of those apparatuses that you call an explosion bucket or something like that. Be careful, though. Ha, huh, you know, our machines are pretty safe, too. Nevertheless, they are still technically very deficient and unsafe. Are you trying to scare me? That is far from me. I hope you have a good time. Thanks, we probably will, especially me. Because Conrad Schutzbach, the pilot, promised me that I could fly the plane myself, although I do not have a flight certificate. That should do it for today because I am in a hurry. Good luck and joy for Monday, too. You know that? Sure, because others cannot block their thoughts like you can. I am hoping it will be a good success. That is up to the reporters, because they write the report. Sure, but there is a lot you can do about it. Well, goodbye, I really must hurry. Okay, can I at least ask if we will see each other again soon? It will be the usual time. I understand. Thank you. Then go well and do not overdo yourself if you are in such a hurry. Then, oh yes, 
I do not want to forget. Be careful with your statements to the person who wants to eavesdrop on you about technological issues, etc. It is someone with very bad materialistic tendencies and degenerating evilness. I know, I have been told that on the one hand, and I would have noticed it myself on the other. You do not have to be afraid, I am already on my toes, and even promises of millions leave me cold. Sure, that is why you can do your job faithfully. But I felt obliged to give you advice, because this person is very insidious. I know, you can rest assured. I am really relieved, thank you. Now farewell and pass along all my dear and heartfelt greetings. I would love to. Take care.